Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, I'm going to go over to people, and this is about a five-year-old boy who was last seen two years ago with mother's boyfriend. Police just found him hidden in home. Stephen Bryan was found safe with his mother, Deborah Bryan, and, his, and her boyfriend, uh, Caleb Bevins, per police report. I will list the article right in all of the details in the description as well. An Indiana boy who disappeared two years ago when he was three years old has been located by authorities who arrested his mother. Stephen Bryan, now five, was missing on June 9, 2022 and was suspected to be with his mother's, uh, Deborah Bryan's, according to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. He has been found safe per authorities. Stephen was last seen with Deborah's boyfriend, Caleb Bevins, in July of 2022, Fox 59 previously reported, uh, citing Indiana State Police. Stephen's date of disappearance is reported differently in some news outlets, but the National Centers for Missing and Exploited Children has Stephen listed as missing since June 2022. Deborah, age 31, allegedly took Stephen from her Mooresville, Indiana home and cut off contact with the children's father, Tyler Bryant, people previously reported. More than two years later, on Tuesday, July 9th, authorities located uh, Stephen alongside Deborah and Bevan at a residence in Bloomington, Indiana, the Mooresville Police Department said in a statement, according to WRTV 21, a live and news and Fox 59. Mooresville Police Chief Kenry Buckner alleged Deborah was just hiding Stephen out amidst an allegation, uh, alleged, excuse me, amidst alleged custody battle with the child's father, WIBC reported. Okay, and this is Deborah Bryan on the left, and this is Caleb Bevins on the right. Deborah was arrested on a charge of interfering with custody. Mooresville PD said, per WRTV 21 Alive News and Fox 59. Bevins has not been charged, but police said it's possible he could be charged if he allegedly assisted Deborah per Fox 59 in WANE 15. Tyler, who was in middle of in the middle of a divorce with Deborah at the time of Stephen's disappearance, told people in January that Stephen has a speech impediment. He couldn't really speak. I don't know if that's uh, gotten better, Tyler said at the time. Stephen was taken into protective custody following his recovery, according to 21 Alive News, WTHR, and WRTV. It wasn't immediately clear if Deborah has entered a plea or retained uh, an attorney to speak on her behalf. An investigation is ongoing. If you suspect child abuse, call the Child National Help, um, the Child National Child Abuse Hotline at 100-4-A-CHILD or 1-800-422-4453. Okay, and that is the end of the article right there. Uh, you know, I mean, this happens. It's not a thing that does not happen. This is a uh, somewhat common depending on which side of the world or state that you live in um thankfully that the young man was found unharmed uh you know i just always think that it's a bad move for any parent especially if two people that are divorcing going through their issues and separations to use a child as leverage or use children in any capacity where it would, you know, alienate, you know, the other parent or, you know, text the other parent, 
in any way instead of just going through the process of just letting go and moving on. Um, not sure what's going to happen in this case, but it is developing uh, as I make this video, and I definitely will keep you updated. Uh, let me know if you were familiar with this case and, you know, what was your thoughts when it first happened. Please drop down in the comment section and let me know. I definitely would love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And with that, you guys, thank you so much. I appreciate your help. In any video, your love, your support, all of that thing. But until then, I will get with you guys in the next video.